Today's video is going to teach you guys how to run the ball in the Madden NFL 16 uh, from our Kansas City uh, Kansas City Chiefs offensive ebook that we're doing for free. Now, this Kansas City free ebook is really designed to give you a little bit of a glimpse into what the uh, what the main paid products look like, and uh, we do that by break showing you video breakdown of the formation, showing you the plays. And, uh, and so today we're talking I-Form Twins Flex. Now, the I-Form Twins Flex, in my opinion, from the Kansas City Chiefs playbook, is hands down one of the best, uh, by far, best, best I-Form Twins formations in the entire game. So we all know about the power of the fullback dive strong. And, you know, this is kind of your base. I mean, you can come out in this. and It's a really good running play. It, it just does a lot of really good things for you. Uh, from an offensive perspective, and we're just going to run up against some random packages. But as you can see, I mean, it is what it is. It's just a really, really good running set. Now, the cool part about the Kansas City iForm Twins is that its quick audibles are really good. So, for example, we have this play slants flat, and I like to use this play down in the red zone. So this is kind of one of my red zone packages that I'll utilize. And what you'll see a lot in the red zone is a lot of cover, too. You'll also see some man-to-man uh, -man coverage but primarily a lot of cover too and so what we'll do here with this uh, slants flat play is we'll take our running back Ronnie Hillman we'll swing him out to the left side now a lot of times people will think we're running fullback dive but we're actually going to run this little quick flat play and as you can see it does a really good job even against flat zones as you can see there we had a flat zone out there and we were still able to complete the pass now you know that makes this just a really phenomenal little passing pattern just a little quick hit to get your running back in space. Now, you don't want to depend on this play, but it is something to kind of throw at your opponent every now and again. And obviously, you can, you know, obviously work your fullback dive. No reason that you cannot do that. The beauty of this is if you playmaker the fullback dive to the left side, you can now motion Ronnie Hillman to the right and do some other things as well, some quick hitches and swings and screens and things of that nature. So. You know, never underestimate the power of some motion, and we really do that a lot with this formation. All right, so going beyond just running it, you know, in the red zone with that fullback dive, as well as the, uh, I, you know, the slants flat and things like that. Uh, now I want to show you the run audible down halfback zone. Now this is actually a really good play, but it's really good because of how good the double juke is this season. So the double juke, uh, as we know, is really effective this year. Problems made it really famous, and uh, and this run really helps us to use the double juke and so what we want to do is we just kind of want to get off tackle here and normally it really is just a phenomenal run off tackle but the power of it comes if they over pursue so in this situation you're facing like quarter you get that double juke going back to the inside and you'll have a lot of success with this running play this is one of those running plays that's really really good against uh, you know sets like quarters or dime or nickel or things like that because you, it's a zone read run, and you can cut it, you know, in a lot of several different ways. It's not a really good power run against like a goal line set or something like that. It doesn't do a very good job. But as you can see here, against like a four, base four three set, you know, if you make the right read, whether you cut it outside or inside, uh, versus, you know, so example quarter three deep. This is going to be a really good run for it. Um, I say that as a good stop in the backfield. It's going to normally be a really good run for a quarter or three deep or something like that. When they have, if, you know, if you're going up against maybe like a 5 2 set or maybe like a 46 normal, you know, this may not be quite as effective. But here, as you can see, I mean, as long as they hold the blocks, and Carolina's really doing a good job at getting off the blocks and getting into the backfield. But, um, and, and the other thing is, too, don't be afraid to playmaker this run because it's a zone read run. It does really good with playmakers and things like that. So, guys, this halfback zone is really good. And the beauty of it is it's a quick audible, and so it can really, you know, help, you know, allow you to come out in the inside zone, allow you to use it, and, uh, and do some things like that. Now, the next thing I want to talk about, though, is the beauty of this I-form formation is that it has the halfback zone. It has the fullback fake halfback flip, and it also has the halfback toss and halfback blast. All of these are effective running plays, and for several reasons, you know, but... The halfback toss is good. You can playmaker it to the left if they're giving you that. If you're giving you that look, and it's just a really good little running play, in combination with the fullback dive. This formation truly is one of the more powerful formations. And then if you 
you know, something like this, you come out in the toss and you see they're really disciplined against it, you can always check down to that halfback zone and cut it back to the inside. It makes this formation, you know, something you can truly utilize every down if you want to run the football. In my opinion, this is the best I-form twins formation in the entire game. The next thing that makes this really good is that you can utilize uh, the hitch corner play in your quick audibles. Now we can do several things with this. The first thing that we can do is uh, we can take uh, Ronnie Hillman here and place him on a streak and motion him to the left as if we were running the slants flat play. Now what this is going to do is if they're in, for example, a cover three or any type of zone coverage, circle uh, Emmanuel Sanders is now going to get in a really good uh, position to get open. And uh, you want to hot route Hillman to a fade once you motion him to the outside. You don't want to hot route him to a, a wheel route in the backfield or a streak. And as you'll see here against that cover three, it now allows Emmanuel Sanders to get open on the outside. Another thing that we can do uh, with this hitch corner play though is utilize it as a man beater. So if we just smart route Demarius Thomas's route, and, a, and then we can also bring Hillman in motion, you know, there's no reason we can't. You know, and then maybe took Sanders and put him on a drag because we're reading man-to-man -man coverage, you'll see that uh, square, whenever he turns around, is a really good route to beat man-to-man. -man. So that's just a, a few small components of how we utilize this. The next thing that we'll do with this is take, um, it's really good for cover two. So if they go cover two, then we'll do the same thing, bring him out, put him on that fade, and you'll see that this play becomes really, really good for cover two defenses. A circle is going to get in a really good position uh, with that angled corner route. So as you can see, this hitch corner is really good for several reasons. Uh, but another good play we have is this PA, PA divide. And what we like to do with this is place Demarius Thomas on a slant route, and we're going to motion him in and snap him right about in this position. And what you'll see here is you'll be able to have a nice quick release uh, with, with that play. So as you can see, we just have so many you know, different types of things that we can do with this play, uh, this formation specifically. I want to show you one other thing uh, before I let you guys go with this. And we'll show you how to utilize this uh, completely in our full game breakdown later on in the series. But um, another thing that we'll do with this formation is we will utilize the play action slot wheel. And this becomes basically a screen pass. Uh, to the running back. So what we'll do is we'll put Hillman in motion and, and, and you know let's just say for example they're going cover three. We'll put Hillman in motion and we'll make sure that he's on a little flat pass and it's a real quick snap throw and you'll see that if they're in well excuse me if they blitz if they are in a cover three zone right so for example here's cover three zone we're gonna look to hit Emmanuel Sanders when he cuts up field so we see the basic generic coverage and we're able to hit Emmanuel Sanders in that kind of slot. But what if they say, for example, if they say, okay, we're going to try to stop your, you know, your off tackle runs to the left side and we're going to blitz this safety. And what that's going to mean is it's going to leave the flats open. Well, in that scenario, we have to get rid of the ball quick. And so what we'll see is Quick flat read is open. We're going to throw it to him, and Emmanuel Sanders and Demarius Thomas are going to service blockers upfield for the screen pass to really take place. This primarily is a zone beater, but if they do go man to man, all hope is not lost because Emmanuel Sanders, if he has good route running, which Emmanuel Sanders does, normally will beat his man when he cuts up field, as you can see right there. So this play becomes a really powerful. Uh, option to kind of mix in with the rest of your scheme. And then finally, the play that really we want to be able to run, you know, in key situations is the I-form twins, and it's the fullback fake halfback flip. Now, this play, you can flip it either way, but in this situation, if they have a, basically if they have a corner and a safety on the right side, you want to run it to the left. So here we're going to run it to the left, and you'll see we can double juke, you know, to kind of get back in if we need to. But the real idea here, he's going to get matched up with a linebacker. So normally he's not the wide receiver, I'm saying, on the left side. will get normally matched up with a linebacker. But when he's matched up with a corner, that corner's going to drop back immediately. 
it's going to give you that space to run this. Now, obviously, we're not going to run this a bunch. This is kind of a home run hitting play. You have to be very careful in how you run this. But if the linebacker is out there with the wide receiver, then you're going to want to run it to the right side because at worst case, you can break a tackle of a corner a lot easier than you can break the tackle of a, uh, of a, uh, a linebacker. In this situation, that's where you really want to run it. When they start jamming everything in the middle, that's where this play becomes really good. And I know we're not getting a lot of good breaks here, but in the course of a game, they'll start to over-pursue, maybe even run commit, and uh, that's where you can really run this play. You know, a disciplined defense is going to be able to eat this alive, but, you know, I mean, when you get throughout the course of the game, they're going to start kind of pinching everybody in, and uh, this comes really in handy. But the halfback zone and the fullback dive are really kind of the base runs where we can really run it against anything and not feel too bad. Uh, but then those tosses and those other things are something that we'll use, you know, to really kind of hit it home. So, so guys, this is, you know, just kind of scratching the surface, but this formation is phenomenal, and I highly encourage you guys to check it out. And, uh, and hopefully we can, uh, you know, hopefully we can show you a little bit more of how to utilize it in the full game. Uh, if you guys want to see some more of the passing and other things we've discussed, there's a playlist link in the description uh, for you. And also, if you're looking to maybe check out one of these ebooks that we've got full material written up and fully published, then uh, you can check those out in the description. They're fairly inexpensive, not very, uh, not very pricey at all. So I definitely recommend that. Otherwise, guys, if you have any comments or questions.